Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a super useful skill. We'll be resetting your Raspberry Pi back to its factory settings. This is perfect if you're selling your Pi, starting a new project, or just want a clean slate. Let's get started. There are a few ways to do this, and I'll walk you through the easiest one. First, you'll need your Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card reader, and a computer with internet access. Make sure your Pi is turned off and unplugged before we begin. This is important for safety. Now, take out the micro SD card from your Raspberry Pi. Insert it into your micro SD card reader, and then plug that reader into your computer. Next, we need to download the Raspberry Pi Imager software. You can find it on the official Raspberry Pi website. Just search Raspberry Pi Imager on Google, and it should be the first result. Download the version that matches your operating system. Once downloaded, install the Imager software. Open the Raspberry Pi Imager. You'll see a simple interface with a few options. Click on Choose OS. Then, select Raspberry Pi OS Other. In the menu, you will see Erase. Click Erase. Now, choose the correct micro SD card you are using. It's super important to double check this. Selecting the wrong drive can wipe data from your computer. Click Erase again to confirm. The imager will now format and erase your micro SD card. This will take a few minutes, so be patient. Once complete, the imager might say, SD card successfully erased. Now, we need to reinstall the operating system. Click Choose OS again. This time, select the Raspberry Pi OS version you want to use. The recommended version is usually a good choice for beginners. Next, click Choose Storage and select your micro SD card. Finally, click Write. The imager will download the OS and write it to your micro SD card. This process may take some time. The speed depends on your internet connection and the micro SD card's write speed. After the write process is complete, you will see a message write successful. Safely eject the micro SD card from your computer. Put the micro SD card back into your Raspberry Pi. Plug in your Raspberry Pi and turn it on. It will boot up like a brand new Pi. You'll need to go through the initial setup process, setting your language, keyboard layout, and password. That's it. Your Raspberry Pi is now back to its factory settings. It's like it just came out of the box. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it useful, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support helps me create more content like this. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos.